Hello everyone, Adam here from CRT. Today we're looking at Core XY, the kinematic style, which is often confused with an entire printer design. So let's take a look at how it works. So let's have a closer look at how the Core XY kinematics work. First, let's draw the frame. In the corner of our squares, we'll draw two stepper motors, each with a little gear on them. So let's call this one stepper letter A, and that motion delta A. So a change of A, basically a rotation of A. This one, again, it's the same direction, the arrow is just in a slightly different place, and we'll call that a change of B. So what do the belts look like? They go up here, across to the side, down and across the middle. And then on the other part, across to here. And in the center, we have our extruder. So movement in this direction we'll call delta Y, or a change in the Y direction. In this direction we'll call delta X, or a change in the X direction. We can put idler gears on just to help us show how the belt moves around the assembly. Again, for the A side, we have the same sort of thing. It goes around the top, around the side, and into the middle. It gets a little bit messy when you start drawing all these things all over the place, but this would be your XY joiner, this would be your XY joiner, this is an idler, this is an idler, and these are your two steppers. So how does these change in A and B result in a change in direction of Y and X? A delta A, so a rotation here, will have a change in this length of belt. Let's say to here. Changes by that amount. So that means the distance from there to there has changed by that amount. So basically we have a change in A equals a change in X and a change in Y. The delta A will be the delta X and the delta Y together. So what about B? Well, B is the same as A, it's just on the opposite side. So delta B will give you delta X minus delta Y. Because in this instance, when this pulls this way, this is going this direction. Yeah, same rotation provides motion in the opposite direction. But it's the same direction for X. Yep, that will pull that in that direction. So X is still the positive direction. That goes up, that's positive x. This goes this way, positive x. But this in this direction is also negative y, whereas this one is positive y. This is why we have a positive and negative differently here. So now all we have to do is rearrange these to find out how a change in x results in delta a and a change in y results in delta b. So how do we do that? Well, we can just rearrange. So let's say we'll make, we'll get rid of the delta x's, so we'll make them delta x, so this is this one, delta x equals delta y minus delta y plus delta a. And for this one, delta x equals delta b plus delta y. So since these are both equal to delta x, these expressions must both be equal. Delta a minus delta y equals delta b plus delta y. Let's move this around a bit. We'll have delta a, we'll keep this here and move that one across. Minus delta b equals, move this one across, delta y plus delta y. So delta a minus delta b equals 2 delta y. Or we can also say that delta y equals, moving the 2 over, a half of delta a minus delta b. So to get a change in y, we have half the motion of a's positive motion minus b's motion. So that's how we get a delta y. What about delta x? Well, we need to do the same, but we need to remove delta y. So this time, moving this over here to so this, we can now make delta y equals delta a minus delta x. And moving this one over, we have delta y equals delta x minus delta b. And then again, we make them the same. So delta a minus delta x equals delta x minus delta b. So then we have delta a plus delta b equals delta x plus delta x. Or a half delta a plus delta b equals delta x. So now we have these two equations of motion. This one for delta x and this one for delta y. And that's how we obtain our motion. So if we want a change in x, so just that direction, we can't do it with a single stepper motor. Delta x must be done with a combination of a and b. So hopefully I've explained a little bit more about how Core XY works and what it actually is. Really it's quite simple I think, but the long belt runs that go here, there and everywhere tend to overcomplicate things in people's minds. It certainly did for me, got me a little bit confused to begin with until I sort of had a closer look at how it worked. 
If I haven't answered all your questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer them for you. If you want to watch another video of mine, click here. Click here to subscribe, like if you liked it. Thanks very much for watching. This has been CRT. <laughs>